Uh, I'm not sure and the story behind that, but I know it's just not his character anymore. Yeah, and the Yogo's uh -huh. like, no, she was like, I can't play Ness in the crew battle. I don't have a Ness anymore. And he's like insistent on playing Yoshi. But Yogo, yeah, not going to play Ness. I am a little surprised to see him playing Kirby. I was, yeah, what's his main? I mean, granted, he's Yoshi. He I is. see. I mean, Ness against Kirby is a yeah. classic matchup that is tough. I mean, uh, you yeah. know, not, not, um, so Yobo, for a while, he was Pika, he was Yoshi, Pika, Kirby, right? Okay. Um, he's Ooh. Ooh, busted out. There. He's busted out all the high tiers to try and beat Mr. Sir at the weekly. So like Falcon, Fox, Yoshi, yeah. Pika, Kirby. Um, but for the most part, he's solo Yoshi. I believe he's pulling out the Kirby specifically Just for, the for Ness. yeah, no, specifically for Raichu. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Now. Um, he might be pulling out. I've seen him pull it out for Kristoff, so it could be oh, for, right. for most Nesses. But I know Raichu specifically struggles. And, and they are, like, Ness's hardest matchups. Sure. Uh, I've heard Frey on record saying that Puff and Kirby are impossible for Ness <laughs> because of the yes. multiple jumps. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot. That there's a lot hard. more than that, but yeah. that's what Frey cited specifically in terms of uh, adding Jigglypuff to the mix. Interesting. I know yeah. that's one of... Uh, I don't want to expose him too much, but Ray, Raychu struggles against Puff as well. Interesting. Um, he's very strong against Pikachu. Yeah, uh, and we've seen Raychu. Uh, he took Ooh. he took a game off me. He should have he should have beaten Alvin. He <laughs> he back through or he forward through instead of back throwing. He had him. Um, he actually beat Kiro, right? Um, yeah. Kiro's Pika. So Raychu very good at the P Pika matchup. We have not seen him have much success with Kirby, but I think for somebody like Yobolite who doesn't actually play a lot of Kirby. Oh, great recovery. I think yeah, great get up too. Let's uh, see what he does here. Okay. Uh, he's gotta get off that platform, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's no got a DI tech, off. No I mean, techs or anything. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, even if you get the tech, you get punished, but you, but gotta, you, at least, you might not die, yeah. yeah. And of course, this is always a tough situation for Ness. The dueling of invincibility is tough. Um, I think Yobo, what he should be doing is he really should just be spacing out and like Ness's get up options are not very good. Uh, and if you know, if you're prepared for them, then you should be able to cover all of them. So what, what Raichu really thrives on in the Pika matchup is his punishes, right? Uh, Ness, this is a very tough matchup, but Ness can combo Pika to death, yeah. right? Um, and it looks like that's what's helping him with this matchup too. I think it's a little tougher maybe. But he's had some pretty good combos on. on yeah, Kirby. I actually think it's definitely significantly tougher, mainly because you have the Kirby's has uh, up tilt and, and there, yeah. um, which really are bad for Ness. Uh, there's not really a safe place for Ness to be. Uh, you're really at risk of, from getting hit from all angles. Yeah. Uh, oh. And yeah, and this is un not uncommon to see this sort of spacing battle. I mean, w what Rachel wants it is to get height. He wants to be above Kirby. That's one of the safer places to be. You have to worry about up tilts, but that's about it. Your down airs are pretty strong. Uh, and when Kirby is holding the top platform like this, it's really tough for Ness. Yeah. You know, Ness can't get up to the top platform really fast. He has to go to the side or do his double jump, which takes forever. Yeah, I don't uh, know like that much about Yobo's Kirby these days, so it's hard to really try and get into his mind and figure out what he's trying to do other than the standard uh -huh. Kirby stuff. The last time they played, I was talking about I'm pretty sure he went Yoshi and lost. Ooh, nice nair there. Oh, oh why did that grab? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh, he was afraid of Wispy. I yeah. Mean. <laughs> Ooh, that was a tech club. He should have just gone in there and naired him. It's interesting to see Raichu not playing on the flats. I know that's dangerous when Kirby has the, the top plat, but I think that's where Raichu is really the strongest on those side plats. That's uh, obviously Ness, that's where he starts his combos. But right. I think Raichu plays some of his best neutral on the plats as well. Uh, it's very hard to, to get in between, uh, you know, like the up tilt. Right, I mean, it's it's tough because, you know, if you're if, if you're facing, if you're back at Kirby, he's got back air. If you're in front, he's got an air. And they're both really bad. I mean, yeah. Bear's worse, but you don't really want to be able to eat any of those. Uh, Let's see, he should back, ooh, yeah, he's got to go a little bit further out the back air. Oh, all uh, right. That'll be the stock. I, I would not have expected that option, the roll into the instant down air, but uh -huh. great shoots. He ooh, knows. Nice up airs. He's got a DI up onto the top platform when he, he gets hit by those. He, yeah, he always, Raichu's always trying to carry his opponent to the side plats. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's standard Nest yeah. stuff. But I think that's one of Raichu's fortes is mm -hmm. carrying people 
to one of the flats, one of the side flats. Right, yeah, and of course, I'll, something I'll say all the time, but if you don't know how to DI up, you can get out of pretty much anything Ness can do to you. Yeah, uh, DI up is strong in most matchups, but yeah. it really can debilitate Especially Ness, Ness because his vertical movement is so slow. Oh, oh no. that's just devastating, and it happens. Oh, oh my goodness. How did he make it back? Yeah, that's just the life of Ness. You, you just have an amazing recovery like that, he gets back on, but you have so much time, you can just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could just jump out there. Yeah, I mean, um, I like to point out though. That, um, I mean, this is common knowledge for you, but for a lot of, of people, we see a lot of people picking up Ness lately. You know, and we see Raichu, yeah. uh, ESP Paradox. Um, when you're recovering as Ness, is the same similar with Fox in a lot of situations. A lot of people think they need to go to the stage as soon as possible, right? You want to go backwards. Yeah. It's counter counterintuitive. Um, I don't know if that's like novice knowledge, but I feel like that's something that should be said when you're watching Ness. Is that in order to recover in almost any situation, I feel like if you can't get under them and snag the ledge with the the up B or the down B, yeah. you have to swing back and ang try and angle it downward. Yeah, I mean the the worst place for Ness to recover is down below because. You're guaranteed to have lag, and you're yeah. really, your only options are ledge or stage. They just grab the uh, ledge. And, and they just grab the ledge and just hit you yeah. once you get back on. And the only thing you can hope for is like a crazy hitbox, or like maybe they hit you and you land on the stage or something. But right. um, but yeah, the way you can uh, you can kind of bait them out early and swing backwards, yeah. and then the, the lag reduction you get from angling it downwards just makes jumping backwards so strong. Yes. Um, so we are seeing the Raichu Pika. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting considering how close that last game was. But it was close. That, I mean, the thing is, it, you know, as a Ness, Ness player, curve. it's <laughs> you know, you lose a match like that, and you know, all right, I only have one match left. You know, yeah. And like, you know, you play Ness, and and those stuff can happen. And the fact that it already happened once means that if you stay Ness, you got he's got the last through two games where that stuff can happen yeah. again. And so. These are situations where it's it's very tempting just to say, you know what, I'm gonna be a bit safer, not take as many of huge of a risk as you know to stay Ness and have to go through two more games and just play a character that yeah. does better against your opponent. Um, and obviously, it's it's different because he's switching from Ness Kirby, one that argue people argue is the worst matchup in the game. <laughs> um, but people consider Pika Kirby to be fairly favorable, but. If you're someone you know that's just kind of picking up Pika. This is a tough matchup. It is. It is. You tough. you have to have a very strong punish game. The neutral is so difficult and requires so much patience and just understanding of the way the characters' hitboxes interact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't just hop into it as a beginner. No, you can't. Um, but I, I think what this what this matchup does allow the Pikachu player to do is, you know, you play Ness and you can you have great spacing and you just can't recover. I mean, right. you know, every time you get off the edge, you die. You take a character like Pika, you know, if you're just as good at spacing, you know, even worse, yeah. but you still can compete. For sure. You can, you know, you don't have to be afraid of getting off, it, get off and dying. If you're you know? if you're close to the other player's level, um, you're taking out a lot of volatility. You are, um, definitely, and that helps. Um, and we see. Granted, y Yobo is not a Kirby main either, so they're no. both looking at this like, this is a Yoshi main and a, a Ness main, playing a character they <laughs> only play for one matchup. Yeah. So you're it, it might work to more to Ray's favor because uh -huh. um, Yobo's not prepared to set up a lot of the traps that Kirby needs to contend with Pikachu. Yeah, and you know I'm sure, you know every Ness player, a lot of times they'll say, oh, what you know. Let me pick another character against Kirby. Let me work on somebody else against Kirby. And so he's he's prepared. You know, if there's any matchup that he would be prepared for, if he switches characters against the Kirby, uh, it would be the you know the Kirby itself. So I'm not wouldn't be surprised if Rachel really knows his matchup better than the other way around. Um, well, and one one thing to note is if Ray wins this matchup, he has a decision to make. That's very true. Yeah. Um, now Pika against Yoshi is definitely better than. Ness against Kirby right now. Yes. However, ooh, as yeah, good as Raichu's Pika has looked, you're looking at Yobo, you know, pretty good against Pika as right. Raichu. And, you know, Raichu probably, I want to say, has never played that matchup. Well, I don't have that information handy, but 
I don't think he's going to be equipped to contend with the Yoshi. So I think he might have to go back Ness and deal with the... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, we'll I have mean, to see if it even happens. Yeah, because this, this is very close right tight, now. Like um, airtight. Um, Rachel doing with all of those up oof, those uh, up airs. Now that's something Ness, you know, if, if, oof, if uh, Kirby's on a platform, Ness can't do much, but Pikachu's got up air. Yeah, that's uh, what this matchup actually uh, turns into is you know, both characters trying to punish the landings of the yeah. other. Um, Pika will throw up airs to the, the plats, and while Kirby doesn't have an up air that can really contend, he has a back air which pokes yes. pretty high above him, so that substitutes for an up air. All right, he's <laughs> he predicted the the shield drop. Ooh, oh, oh, that was a risky. Yeah, that's all you can do there. A uh, lot of percent for both of these characters here. Yeah, they're both hovering around the same percentage. Yeah, one strong aerial will do it for either one. A grab will do it for both yeah. of them. <laughs> Not a weak one though. Yeah, uh, we'll see. He's pretty high up. It's hard to edge guard that. But oh, if he just <laughs> kind of positioned himself to catch Yobo's landing, he would have been in a better spot than trying to catch him out of the air. And, you know, Yobo, I think one thing that, that Reichu can abuse is Yobo's consistently using all his jumps when he's in the air. Right. And I, I think it's, there's an opportunity there for Reichu to realize he has to come down. Uh, just like he's, right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think he had one more left, but... Um, <coughs> I don't, I don't know if Rachu is paying attention to how many jumps yeah. that uh, Yobo has and is using. Rachu has some pretty good zip zaps, though, I will <laughs> say. Um, that's a huge tool to have it really is. Uh, as a, a budding Pika player. Oh, uh, yeah, probably could have snuck in an air there, I think. Ooh. Oh, oh that's. All right, he All right. survives that survives. somehow. Yeah. Um, when you do the single zip like that as Pika, you got to pull back because they're going to expect you to come in uh -huh. to the stage and you just pull back. That's your best uh, chance of surviving. All right, last stock. Uh, I expect this one to be a, definitely a spacer. Man, we got two minutes left on a uh, <laughs> four stock match. Oh, good call out. Yep. Just trusting his, uh, his own spacing versus Yobos. I don't know if that was meant to be another up tilt. <laughs> I think, yeah, tech buffs from both these players, I think. Nice up air. Yeah, just kind of swinging it through the platform. Ooh. Oh, this could there. be tough. Should recover, you know, that's, oof. It's a good, good job continuing this punish here. Oh, that, that's a that's That was one of the longest situation. punishes yeah. I've seen from Yoba's Kirby this entire set. And again, they're they both fairly even. There he is. That was a good call out by Rachel. He knew that Yobo was almost out of jumps. Very lucky or fortunate he got that up tilt out. Ooh. They're winding down to a minute here. I don't think <laughs> we're going to last much longer, though. These guys are no. playing. It may not look it to uh, the spectators, but these guys are actually playing pretty aggressive. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's surprising, actually. Uh, I think both of them are just... You're not seeing these like really huge combos that you, you might be able to see in this matchup, but right. most of the time, I mean, this is sort of how it goes. But I, you know, we haven't really seen many timeouts with four stocks before. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, I think we we almost saw a few at, at Gommel Ooh. between Preston yeah. and Dark. All right, let's see. This not the easiest edge guard. You know, people yeah. underestimate how Kirby can recover, but can't do anything. Uh, so Kirby's lot. recovery is tough when he's high. It's hard yeah. to edge guard. If you can threaten him to drop low, you have a better so chance now, of getting him. So time is really a factor now. I mean, we got yeah. 20 seconds. And Raichu's got so much, uh, he's so much lower on percentage than Ra <laughs> than Yobo. He is, but I mean, oh, why Yobo can kill. Oh, he's got yeah. it. He's got it. I hope he's realizing Ten. the time. Oh, and they're yelling. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not enough oh, time. Oh, not it. This is not good. <laughs> Raichu blew it. Why oh, would you do that? Oh, no. Oh, Ray. That was... He had that the game in hand.